sparkling 923 saves percentage. We're set to go, the opening faceoff. And Mr. Parrish, what do you see here for the Tigers? What does Bob want to see out of his team after losing two last week? The response, rebound. This is where you show you're a mature team, not just a mature player, but respond. Get back to your game, forget about what happened last weekend, come back and play the dominant Husky style of hockey that they have been all year. Now here's Jackson trying to center. Coming out front was paling, but he's separated from the puck, and Mason Berg comes back the other way. The former Eden Prairie Eagle dumps it into the far corner. He's quickly covered there. Newell chips it up the wall, and now here comes Ryan Paling. Two on two with Jackson. They crisscross at the line, drop pass to Jackson, and he couldn't get a shot away as he was caught from behind. As coming back was Trevor Gooch. Played his junior hockey for one of my favorite teams for the nicknames, the Trail Smoke Eaters. The Trail Smoke Eaters. Now here comes Halloran again. This time he elects to drop it back. Berg with it, high slot, throws it towards the net, deflected over the top of the net by Bradley. This is the big line for Colorado College. They've done most of the damage this season. Jackson now flips it out to center. Taken over there, driven right back in by McCaskill. A weak one that's forced to the boards. Berg cycles it in deep. Halloran waiting for it there. Spins away from Schultz. Halloran drops it along the wall. Rolls it in front during the broadcast. And you will see 15% off your food bill. Get fill of hockey and fill of fine food at the Green Mill. Jackson now gets it over to Paling. Back in front, redirect. Oh, and what a... Really good play by Zach Berzola. Another great hockey name. There's some good ones. Cristiano on Versic. Here's a shot. Oh. The Huskies come in. Eighth best power play in the country. Over 20% success or 26% so far this season. But last weekend they had some issues. Just one for 11 against the Pioneers. Sometimes things just don't click for some reason. It's the water, the mountain air, who knows what it is. And I think a lot of teams are going to have problems scoring power play goals against that yes. Pioneer team. That, and there it is, a really, really good team as well. Now Lazat has to race to keep it in the zone. Jack Paling reverses it around to the near side to his brother Nick. Or Ryan, rather, back to the point. A shot, shot deflected, and goes over the top of the gauge. Now here's a shot. Plays it down low. Lazat brings it back to a shot. He'll drive it. Blocked in front. Tigers back at full strength. Huskies, though, keep it in the offensive zone. Jack Paling. Now to Ryan. On his backhand, turns to the forehand, throws it down the slot, ends up going to the sideboards. Huskies maintain possession. Jack Paley drops it off to Lazat, throws it towards the net. Brodzinski tips it in behind. Paling with it again. Back near the blue line. Coming right down the slot. Takes the shot. LeClaire holds the post. Huskies still with it in the offensive zone. Great. Kevin Fitzgerald. Freshman's already with six points, three goals on the season, including one last week. Tigers dump it out to center. Oki after it. Ilvenen, though, plays it away from him, and Jackson starts the other way. Jackson coming across the line, tried to get it to... Rodzinski. And Robbie Jackson. So Brodzinski moves up to the top line. Here's Jackson with it. 
Takes the shot, just snapped it high, looking for that top corner. Huskies control. Rodzinski tried to go across the box. That was intercepted by Bradley. Back the other way, Halloran overskated it. Drops it back. Blumenshine puts it to the corner. Huskies can't get it out. Halloran does, though, for them. Rodzinski will pick it up. He's got help. Dishes the cross. Jackson going in. Oh. Trying to put it in the short side, but couldn't knock it in. As Calvaruso had a piece of it. He was moving a little too fast for his move. By the time he got the shot off, he was behind the goal line. Now the Tigers will dump it out to center. He snapped it wide of Calaruso. Israel back in. Versich gets away from Jackson. Feeds it across to the far side. Backhander right in front. And not being able to finish the lap layup was Berardillo. Robbie Jackson just might have got his stick, stick in there and disrupted him just enough. Israel's shot deflects in behind. Huskies back at full strength. Asamon out of the box. And he tips it away from Israel. And it goes all the way down. If I'm Bob Motzko, I'm telling the Huskies to not look at Cristiano Versich, not look at the puck. Right at his crest. Holy cow, does he have some hands. He can move that puck, that's for sure. 20 seconds to go. In a good opening. Back here at the Brooks Center, the start of period number two. The Huskies up by three. Jim Rich along with former Husky All-American Mark Parrish. And Mark, the message in between periods from Bob Motzko was. Do not play. See, and then St. Cloud flipped the table as they outshot Colorado College from that point 12 to two. There's a shot that hit the outside of the post. And the Huskies trying to build on that three goal advantage. Back the other way, Mishad comes across the line, but Israel in ahead of the play. They too play on an Olympic sheet, so this isn't the big adjustment that so many teams have to make when they come here to the Brooks Center. And it's a mile closer to sea level. <laughs> Here's Jackson, a quick shot, and snaring that. Can't point the finger at him at all. Jackson jumps into the circle, gains control, gives to Borgen. Now Ryan Paling busting right down the slot, takes the shot, but it's blocked nicely in front as Brazula came across. Now Paling leaves it there, and Halloran says thank you very much. He'll pick it up and clear it down into the Husky zone, but then right back the other way, St. Cloud State coming in. Asamont tried to sidestep McCaskill, but he didn't bite on the move. Face off that, shoot the puck. He doesn't need to get any closer. Now Berg across the line, stood up by Ashan, and now Asamon picks it up. Being bothered from behind, but gets away from Halloran. But the Huskies couldn't keep it in the offensive zone. Oregon gives to Asamon, steps around his man. Asamon walking in, centering pass, and broken up at the last second by McCaskill, and now three on two the other way. Huskies coming across the line. Or rather, the Tigers. Bradley had it, but he's stripped of the puck, and now St. Cloud. Ace on again by himself. Tries to shift on the side of the post, but he appears to be okay. And Brodzinski now. Backhands it ahead to the Tiger line, broken up by McCaskill. Huskies, though, jump on it. Brodzinski again. Tried to feed it across for Jackson. He has to chase it to the corner. Gives to Brodzinski. Trying to cut to the slot. Gets the high slot, turnaround shot, save is made. And the rebound, clear to the line, not out. Ryan Paling couldn't hold it in as Gates forced his hand. And now John Lazat lays it off the boards, and this goes the distance, but they wave the icing. And Gooch couldn't track that one down, and Morgan gives to Jackson. He'll feed it up through center. Easton Brodzinski puts it across. Tap in tally, and he couldn't finish as it came back to him after he tried to set up Ryan Paling. And again, as you talked about during the break, one too many passes, perhaps. I was a little surprised at that one. I thought for sure Easton was going to be my guy that was going to break this cute stuff. Now Paling takes it to the corner. Bump there. Brodzinski in to help out. Buck still loose in that corner. And the Huskies jump on it again. Jackson. 
What an offensive zone time. <laughs> so impressive for St. Cloud right now. Bailing back to the point. A shot on the drive. That's blocked. Quickly, these players are maturing. You know, Ryan Paling obviously is probably the most glaringly obvious his confidence. He just he's playing like a man against boys, a man against boys. And it's uh, pretty impressive the way that Winicky has responded. He was a healthy scratch back on November 3rd. And he's come back with two goals and two assists in the last three games, and now three goals and two assists in the last four. Shows you his character. Doesn't pout, doesn't stick out his bottom lip. Just gets back to work, comes back, makes it, takes advantage of the opportunity. That's what every coach wants to see. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Wants to keep not only stay in the lineup, but keep moving up the line chart as well. And now Brodzinski feeds rink wide. Here comes Jackson across the line. Good check there. Israel steps up on him, knocks him down, and he'll come back the other way. One on three. Knocked off his stick at the line. Following up is Bradley. He'll cut to the front of the net. Sharp angle shot. Hit the side of the net. Shot from the point by McCaskill. Deflects off traffic. Down into the Husky zone. Under a minute to go on this power play. St. Cloud up by four. Under 90 to go here in the second. Brodzinski feeds across. Now it's dumped to the near wall. Jack Paling. Lost the handle. Got it back. Paling. Drops it off. Moving in, Ryan Paling to Jack. Quick shot by Lazat. Good save there. Rebound. And Ryan Paling couldn't finish on the back door. That was KG. It was a tough angle, so he's trying to bank it in off the goaltender. Here's Lazat, side of the net. Paling looking, shooting. Save made by Calaruso. He's using all of that 6 2 frame. He's going to need to take a bath in ice water. Uh, lit the lamp a few times, too, and that, that helps. I think most of that happened after, too. <laughs> Figured I better pay him back. There was a rocket by Paling right on, and Calaruso comes up with another save. Here's Jackson coming in, snapping a shot. High and wide, and Robbie looking up at the lights afterwards, going like, how'd I miss that? But here's Lazat giving. Jackson another chance. Puts it back in front, paling the shot. Save is made. Paling again with it. These two are so much fun to watch right now. Ryan Paling and Bobby Jackson. Oh, my Lord. Robbie Jackson, excuse me. There Centering pass right in front, and it goes in. Jackson Just gets his goal, and the fans get an up-close look at Chance on the power play. Trying to break through here. Their third chance with the extra man. Back to the point. Bloom and shine. Brings it to the near side. Bradley to Bird. Roughing is the call on Fitzgerald. Bradley drops it off. Bloom and shine. Side of the net. Back out front. Bradley puts it high over the bar. What a pretty play right there, too, by CC. It looked like a set play. Berg has separated from his stick. He's got to go to the corner to pick it up. Quick shot saved by Smith. Rebound jabbed home. And getting on the eight to go here in the hockey game. Jim Rich along with former Husky All-American Mark Parrish. And so far, things have gone well. You wanted to see a response from St. Cloud after that Denver sweep. And through two and a half periods, we've seen that. Boy, have we ever. A dominating performance. Now here's a Sean waiting for teammates to get on side. Brings it across the line. Passes tip back out. But then hammered in by his defense partner, Will Borgen. Wisely as the last man back, just throws it back in behind him. Now Brodzinski drops it back to Borgen. Long pass tipped ahead by Ryan Paling as he was headed off. Now Versich across the line. He's played well tonight. Long shot, Smith to save, rebound. Gobbled up by Ryan Paling, and here he goes. Ryan Paling shorthanded. Drives the net. 
Centering pass broken up as he tried to slip it to Jackson. Now Versich back the other way. Dances across the line, stripped of the puck by Paling. Jackson picks it up there, picks an opening and sends it. The way these kids mature so quickly, and yeah, they're kids, it's incredible. The details about the game that they pay attention to, and they do so well. Rodzinski run into from behind, but he was able to clear the puck out. And also right. leaving so much room for creativity. Okay, I love Bob. Leave me alone. <laughs> Erndelli stripped to the puck. Huskies come back in. Here's Jackson walking right in. Oh. Back Save that time by Carva Russo. Now a breakaway. Me shot going right in. And he fired it wide of the cage. Check that. That was Berardelli with that opportunity. That Berardelli. save hurt my groin. How did he get that left foot over there? It's opening up, folks. This shot whistled wide of the cage by Brodzinski. And Israel plays it off the ball out to Keo. He'll skate it to the red line. Gooch stripped to the puck by Asama. Now a turnover. Gooch coming in. And good work by Ashan to come back to get a stick on that to block that shot. So sneaky quick. Looks like there's plenty of room for Gooch to get a shot off there. And Ashan still gets one there. Disrupts it. Approaching 90 seconds to go in this one. St. Cloud will improve to 8-2 on the season. 3-2 in NCHC plays.